This week on Sailing Adrift. Definitely our quickest hop so far. Felt like no big deal at all. Very casual and relaxing. It's a cool feeling to just pack up and move your house whenever you feel like it. Today we're leaving Santa Rosalia and heading towards Bahia de Los Angeles, also known as the Bay of LA. Are you ready? It's about go time. Okay. I'm ready, but not ready. I like this place. Yeah. But we gotta keep moving. We gotta keep going north. Let's get ready to fire them up and go say goodbye. We have help today. <laughs> you want it right off? Our friends from Beluga graciously sent us off as we pulled away from the dock. Coming about. Ready. Bye friends. Made some good connections here and we hope we see them further out. Santa Rosalia was a uh, pleasant surprise. We're gonna miss that place and hope to come back someday. Really charming town, we got to do some fun things while we we're there and met some great people. So uh, definitely check it out if you get the chance. It's just become one of Mexico's Pueblo Magicos and they deserve it. They have cool black sand beaches, a nice history. See you later, Santa Rosalia. It's been real. Now it's time to get the fishing gear out. Wah, wah. I caught a vegetarian fish. <laughs> this is called sargasm. It's a seaweed that seems to be abundant wherever we go. Not the catch we wanted, but we just needed to remain patient. We got a fish. We got a fish on. Exciting times. Exciting times. Fish on! Looks like a little Dorado. We quickly reel this guy in on our hand line. At a closer look, we realize it's a female, but decide she's big enough to keep. Plus, she kind of mutilated her face on the hook. Now we need to get her over the stern rail. Got it? Yeah. All right, dude. It's right behind her eye. Wait, wait, wait. Put the knife down, Chucky. Okay, now time for processing. For this part, we decide to move down into the galley. Having a stable surface while underway is sort of impossible, but we make do with what we have. As the sun started to set, we pulled in our hand lines for the evening and cruised along, taking in the view and enjoying the peaceful breeze. This was another long passage for us. Over the next 24 hours, we would be traveling 126 nautical miles to get to our next destination. Day fell into night, and the brightly colored sky started to fill with ominous clouds. We moved inside our cozy pilot house for the evening and took turns on watch, monitoring our systems and checking our instruments. About halfway through the night, we started seeing bursts of light on our starboard side. This could only mean one thing. It was lightning, and we weren't exactly sure how far away or how safe we were out here essentially being a giant conductor with nothing else for miles. But it looks like it's all happening behind a mountain, doesn't it? Yeah, we're gonna roll with that theory because there's literally no alternative. It's not like we can go any faster. We just kept on trucking into the night. Eventually the lightning ceased and we settled into our watch routine. We survived the night, but the anxiety was a little much. So there were some much needed naps ahead for both of us. One thing always waking up for are dolphins. And this morning, they were a delightful welcome. Got a welcome committee. After the dolphins left, we observed some slightly less exciting wildlife, noticing more and more the closer we got to our approach. So we actually have to come in through uh, between these rocks and the shore right through there. And then we're going to tuck ourselves back in. It's a pretty darn big bay. So we still have about an hour of time left to get there. Anyway, more to come as we make our way into the cut. Coming in, ready to drop the anchor here right in front of the beach. I think we got a pretty good spot. 
Oh man, it felt really good to be here after being underway for 24 hours. The water was calm enough and being able to see land again was very promising. We anchored down and decompressed, very much looking forward to a solid night's sleep as I had a full Monday of work to tackle tomorrow. Bees weren't a problem here, but it was super hot, so we repurposed some bed sheets into sunshades. Problem solved. Anchored last night and we are here in Bahia de Los Angeles. Uh, Kelly's got to work today, so I'm gonna take the dinghy over and see what the town's all about, see if there's anything. Plus, I'm getting a little low on beer, so. Meanwhile, I proceeded to get my day started, but first, Hardly a graceful landing. There's the dinghy next to this public dock. Hopefully we'll be fine there for a little while. I'm not gonna be too long, maybe an hour. Pretty spread out place. Uh, they've got a lot of different things, but very rustic. Right down to the fresh barbed wire. Check this out though. Yeah, cool little sailboat of art and of course the BLA and the best part about this BLA is hold please you can get the whole thing in with a selfie look at that also if you get it at the right angle it's the same on both sides the B turns into an A the L turns into a different L and the A turns into a B how about that clever huh Guess they needed extra horsepower. Chris finally made it to the Tienda and grabbed the goods. This drive bag is pretty impressive. I can get 12 beers in the bottom of it. And some ice to go with them. Chris made it out and headed back home for the day. It would be a short stay for us here as we're already planning our next hop tomorrow. The next morning. Well, it's Tuesday and we're headed to La Gringa to seal some whale sharks, perhaps. <laughs> That's the goal, but it's more of like a hope rather than a goal. People saw them like yep. a matter of days ago. I heard about it. They did, they saw them already. Right? Yeah. So we're going. Here we go. It should take us about an hour to get there. Um, we might be able to. We might be able to sail. Got about 11 knots. We're not in a hurry. Maybe take us an hour and a half. We just have to go that route. We picked up the hook, raised the mainsail, and headed out of our anchorage. It would be a quick trip for us today. Just about an hour. We saw a few sea turtles and some otters pop up on our way out. I was on the hunt to see some whale sharks, but I never did. We only had about six miles to go, and it felt like ideal sailing conditions, so we quickly whipped out our jib. And our wind just died. So this is what it's like sailing in Mexico. We had 22 knots of wind. We're cruising along at four knots, like comfortable, you know, just the main up. And freaking died. And now the wind's coming from port. Just swaying from ahead. And now it's going back. And we're at 2.3, 1.9 knots. Oh, well, you can't say we didn't try. We tucked the sails back in and flipped our motor back on. Look at the delight that is attempting to sail in Mexico. Once we arrived, it was easy to drop the hook and settle in. Okay, cover is on. We're like, we're, we might as well just swim into shore, man. Anchor is down. Yep. This place is deep. 
as I was saying, look how close to the beach we are. And we're still in 23 feet of water. Obviously a lot of beach camping going on. As the sun started to set, the desert landscape appeared very differently. We would stay on the boat for the rest of the night just to make sure our anchor holds. You never know what to expect in a new place. Time for dinner. Picnic. Yeah, this is kind of fun. The last couple days we've been eating pretty good. Really looks nice. So far, this is a pretty fun little spot, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I'm enjoying myself. And it's cool. Like, it's a cool evening. Yeah. Yeah, but it's like low 80s right now, maybe. Anyway, enough with the small talk. Let's fast forward to later that evening. Authentic boat life update. It is uh, 10 to 3 a.m. And we're getting something called elefantes tonight. We got them last night as well, but these are a little bit stronger. Basically what happens is this pocket of hot air builds up over the mainland and then the wind comes howling through from the Pacific because it's cooler over there under the Sea of Cortez at night. So you get this hot, dry, dusty wind. Um, air. Smallest taste of outside. Turn the light on. So it's a real test for your anchor, man. Your ground tackle is super important for this reason. We have about 130 feet of uh, chain out and uh, our mantis anchor on the end of it. But the, the thing about it is, is your, your anchor digs in and as soon as you switch direction, it has to like flip itself over and dig in the other direction. Anyway, so this is like the the way the anchor watch works. If we were to go outside this circle, it would beep at us and say, anchor drag alert, anchor drag alert, and get progressively louder. But as you can see, we're riding the end of our anchor and we've gone all over this the last few hours. I expect at some point tomorrow, we'll probably be like this because the wind will come from out to sea and blow us the complete opposite direction. So everything is working real nice. We are in with uh, Beluga and one other boat then they seem to be holding as well so you can get some sleep here in a little bit. Good morning to Uncle Steve. Ow! Careful. I bought my dog. Chris's decided his project for today is removing our hula skirt or scraping the growth off our bottom. However, the water is a bit brisk this morning. Just keep your ears open for some sort of shriek, yell, or request. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the office now. Okay. Okay. Bye then. Gotta go. Pretty good. Got the water line clean, checked on the problem. After my work shift was over, we decided to check out another anchorage super close by. This was an island just about three nautical miles away. Should take us about half an hour to get there. Our destination was Isla Mitlan, and it's best known for its volcano. But being a remote anchorage, we weren't sure about the bee situation. Hopefully they aren't too invasive, but we're about to find out. Picking up the hook and heading over to a uh, small island just off the uh, coast here. Should be about a uh, half hour or so. Flat calm today and this is the early afternoon when there should be a bit of wind. This was definitely our quickest hop so far. Felt like no big deal at all. Very casual and relaxing. It's a cool feeling to just pack up and move your house whenever you feel like it. Volcano ahead! We should be, it's hard to tell, but there is a, an island right here. We're gonna go up and tuck in. As we make our way around the corner, we can tell you we'll be a lot better protected tonight against those pesky elefante winds. We scouted for the perfect anchoring spot, had to be careful of the rocks and reefs here, as the volcano created a very different seascape from what we were used to. Yeah, pretty cool spot, huh? Yeah. 
very picturesque. Just hope the uh, bees don't show up. And now for this week's blooper reel, sponsored by our patron, Traeger Dan. Um, definitely worth doing it. See you later, Santo. <laughs> a little, a little rolly right now. Put the knife down, Chucky. Bahia de los Angeles. I keep wanting to say G. Green goes, what can you do? Are you gonna try to sail off? Nope. Oh. I like your pants today. They're a pair of bruises. Noticed. Look majestic, look forward. And then I'm up at 3 a.m. To, to like bring stuff in and check on everything and make sure it's all okay. Things you don't really have to do in your house with a foundation built on land.